He's back. Come on! Get in! Hello, guys. Thank you for joining me. Right, this is video number one of five videos, okay? Each of the five videos will be about 20 to 25 minutes long. I'm going to post one every Sunday, okay? And all these are from my journey I've just had in France. Just had a fantastic time in France with some guys from Holland. We went to some amazing places in France around Dunkirk and Calais. Um, all along the Atlantic Wall. I don't know if you know your history about the Atlant Atlantic. I don't know if you know your history about the Atlantic Wall in World War Two. Uh, look it up. It's very interesting stuff. Um, but I'll teach you what I can uh, throughout the five videos. It's a lot of metal detecting. It's a lot of visiting bunkers, going inside bunkers, looking at some graffiti art from the Nazi soldiers, what they wrote on the bunkers going to museums, and yeah, a lot of metal detecting in some amazing places. You might be wondering what the advertisement was for a website at the very beginning of the video for treasureclassifieds.com. I'll explain it all at the very end. Um, it's a fantastic website. I'll go into detail right at the very end of this video, so keep your eyes open for that one. Oh, don't pick on my mate. Oh, you can pick on me, I don't mind. Don't. Insane, we'll meet again, we'll meet again. <laughs> okay, we've got a bullet shell there, 1943 and it's British. I, I presume it's British, it says GB 1943, so a British uh, bullet case. Bang, bang, bang. But it's not a gun, is it? Come on, let's find a gun. Found something cool. It's World War II and it's cool. Now, look at that. I thought where we came today, because these are German bunkers, we're around, surrounded by German bunkers here. Um, but this must be English. It's in English writing. Remove before firing. So it must be something to do with the bang, 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 bang. Um, yeah, quite cool. I don't know what it is, but it says remove before firing. So I'm happy with that. That's a good find. Number 1521 WBLIC. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Come on, let's find some guns now. Right, this thing I found earlier, apparently it's the top of an English grenade. So that's quite cool. Um, Patrick's just found this. Not sure what it's off, but it's a nice aluminium case of some kind. This is what you find with World War II sites. Is little dump areas. They dumped everything, they buried... Ugh. Patrick, that's disgusting. Put it back in. Yeah. That's minging. Ugh, you dirty git. Ugh. That was oh, me. complete. Oh, it's got the handle. Ah. Is there out in it? Sandwich from 40 years old. It might be a sandwich, but it might be something really cool. It's rattling, it's rattling. <laughs> right, we've got a box, it rattles, it's aluminium, it's got an handle. It's same as that, but that one's rubbish now. It was really good about two minutes ago, but I've decided this one's really good now. We need to take this top off and see if there's a, what that rattling noise is. Now, I've found field telephones before, but only German and Hungarian ones. That's a French one. Much smaller than the one I found. That's a French soldier for you. That, Patrick found one of them yesterday. I found, I think I found one of them before, Patrick. Quite sure I have. No, I don't well, I just found this, but we don't know. We don't know. It's between the two bunkers. Right between the two bunkers. And I am sure, I've just scrubbed it up, you won't be able to see it on this camera because I haven't got it in macro, but there's a 7 coming through there. Could be 17 something. Nothing to do with World War II, but hey. That's okay. It's a shell, or what?
So yeah, oh, one thing I will say though, do not just think you can come to France and metal detect anywhere. It's very, very strict rules in France. Um, you've got to get permission, number one, and you've got to not be digging for historical artifacts. Now, how can you know what you're going to dig until you dig it? So, if any questions get asked about me digging today, I'm digging for modern coins because they don't mind that. It's pathetic, I know. They need to clear the law up, and it isn't just France, it's in a lot of countries. Anyway, let's carry on. This is where the soldiers would sleep up there on the bunks. Reichsmark money. Book saying Adolf Hitler in it, as you do. There's helmets up there, I don't, I don't know if uh, I took a picture or not, but they're actually selling reproduction helmets for only 10 euros, which I thought were a bargain. But I haven't come with much money, otherwise I'd buy one, just for the, the fun of it. Right, we're doing around these bunkers here. A lot of bomb holes, look at the bomb holes. I said bomb holes, not bomb holes. Bomb holes all over the place. Um, and this is the tip of a, a French grenade. Still dangerous, that's the dangerous part there. And we think maybe a bomb or shell or something in here. There's a fuse. Yeah, you can see the fuse on it. So yeah, we've only haven't been at it long and there's tons of signals here. Well, there's another lovely bunker there. And this is another hotel and uh, they've just gone in to try and get permission in this hotel. I'm guessing no. But hey, you don't know if you don't try. Was it a no? Uh, I left my telephone number. Ah, okay, so there's a possibility. Yeah, they are not there. But yeah, that would be... Lovely place, look at them bunkers, look like they were just built yesterday. Rubbish looking hotel, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first signal. It's a bit of World War Two webbing. I'm with uh, Ryan. I'm with Ryan. Call him what you want, it doesn't matter because he speaks, they all speak so many languages, it's untrue. Ryan, Blethem, Blethem. Don't matter if you speak it in French, Belgian, Dutch, it don't matter. They really don't mind, you just speak whatever you want to say. Is there something to say? Right, you won't believe this, I were about 100 metres away down there, but I got a really faint signal. It was really faint, but it came from here, and uh, Patrick dug it up, but I, I could hear it from 100 metres away. <laughs> he's laughing, he's laughing, but it ain't funny. What are these then? French mortar grenade boxes. Yeah, in fact you can see at the bottom there, look, it holds three, maybe four. There's no in it. Oh, they're just empty boxes. It's just empty boxes. They're rubbish. Anyway, we think we found a gun. I got, I got this really faint signal over there, 100 meters away, of a gun. And and Patrick started digging it, knowing it was my signal. But he thinks there's a gun down here, so we're going to start digging, and we'll see what comes up. Right, we're in France, we're not far from Dunkirk, and Patrick's just told me what this is. I think, I couldn't understand what he was saying, to be honest with you. I think he was trying to say it's like a German building. What is it, what is it, Patrick? It's a German building, it's yeah? It's in uh, one of the Atlantic Wall type bunkers, it's type 119. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> boring. Does it matter what it is? It's concrete, it's World War II, and it looks cool. Ah, boring. Right, I've never been in one of these before, but this is a, a metal detecting shop. All they do is sell metal detectors and metal detecting books. 
is Belgium, it can speak French, it can speak Hollandish, and it can speak English. And German. And German. <laughs> top man, top man. We have a very nice faint signal in here. Very high toned faint signal. Let's have a look. By the way, I'm using the Mine, uh, Mine Lab Excalibur 2 on this trip. Uh, it was so that I didn't have to carry mine around uh, in suitcases. And luckily, Patrick had two, so I'm using his. And it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now, you've all seen these, haven't you? These, the clips which all the bullets are in. Well, this is the machine they use to put it in. So basically, they uh, turn the handle and push it into a clip. That's quite cool. That's the man who did it. I think he's dead now. He must. He's either dead or bored. He looks bored. That's the original telephone from the bunker. And apparently, this woman she sold all the interesting bits off from in this uh, museum. So Patrick's not happy. We're in Belgium. Now the funny thing about in Belgium is they don't know what language they speak. They don't speak Belgian or Belgium. They don't speak that. They speak either Dutch, French, English. They don't, they've no idea what, what language they speak but they're very good at every language. And we've been in that metal detecting shop just up there. And yeah, it's alright is this, honestly. This is like, it's not Holland so it's alright and it's not France so it's good. It's like a good place in between two rubbish places. I'm waiting for a reaction, I'm not getting one. <laughs> but yeah, this is Belgium and it's really nice, it's very clean. But all the words are French. But they don't speak French, they speak Dutch. It's really weird. I like it. Look, there's even... Look! Look! We've even got Great Britain on the streets of Belgium. Okay, well, the bad news is it's raining. The good news is they said we can come in and look in this bunker now. Not to metal detect, but uh, they've given us permission to come and look in the bunker. Uh, I think the owner's coming in half an hour, maybe we can talk him into letting us metal detect, but uh, hey, we can go in this bunker, not many people get to see this because it's on private property, so let's have a good look inside. Right, this is German World War II bunker toilets. It's still got the poo inside, seriously. There's poo down there, I can see it, it's still in big lumps. This is amazing. Yeah, this is an actual toilet in a bunker. Ugh. You don't want to know what that is. It is literally full of poo. Okay, coming up now, you're going to see inside a bunker, south of Calais, where there's a lot of graffiti which the soldiers, the German soldiers put on inside the bunkers. It was all like anti-England signs, anti-England slogans, uh, everything against Winston Churchill. Really interesting uh, drawings what they'd put all around the bunker. Now obviously in German writing. So what I've done is I've shown you us going round and then I'm going to show you a still photograph of Roland who came with us. Uh, one of the Dutch guys, he was there in 1982 and he took pictures of these places before modern vandals have come along and, and destroyed them basically. So you'll see a picture um, of it from 1982 and I've put the translation in English underneath and it just makes amazing reading, it really does. So here's a few of them for you. Bunker number two now, we're a bit annoyed really, look at this. Got all the original German writing on there, look at that. German eagle on there with the SWAT sticker and vandals have just come and destroyed it. Such a shame, look. 
Der Gott, der einen Wassen ließ. What's that mean? No idea. Oh, look at this. Amazing. Gegen England. I wonder what that's trying to say. Against England. Against England. Wow. Oh man, look at this. Is that Churchill? It could be. This is Winston Churchill, read Lagenhoff. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to know what all these words mean. Like that, what's that saying? England and Russia equals... What's that say? England, Russia, Zieg. Zieg, what's Zieg? Uh, battle. Zieg, eh? Yeah. War. Yeah. Well, you see, that's why they lost the war. We were busy fighting out there and winning the war. They're in here drawing pictures. General Nebel. Oh, look at this art. They could draw, I'll give them that. Hitler was an artist, eh? He was, yeah. I don't think this is anything, but it is small and it is round. Oh, it's a button. Nice. Mm. There could be a design on there. But I don't think there is. But hey, it's a nice little button. Carry on. Lots of guns and bikes. Nice uniforms. Potato masher grenades, landmines. This is what we found yesterday, this uh, drinks bottle there. And Patrick also found one of them. Not yesterday, not here, in Berlin, uh, in Germany. But one of them, uh, try and show you a close up. Patrick's going to explain what these numbers mean on the door. The three letters... Don't go red, go on, carry on. <laughs> the three letters in the beginning yeah. the, is a code. It's called the three letter code. So HKA you can find back in a code book from the Germans and it will tell you which factory constructed this door. Okay. In 1941. I believe um, IKEA have something similar. Underneath all their things they make. IKEA have a code. Right, we think this is a gun. Uh, it, is a gun. it is part of a gun, yeah. Definitely, you can see the... What's the word? What, what do they call them? The, you know what I mean. That's the end of a gun, World War II. That's quite cool. Now all you have to do now, Patrick, is a, is a quick bang, 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 bang. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Oh, you looks really gay. You've got to do it properly. <laughs> you do it. Well, hold my camera then and I'll do it. You've got to do it properly, look. You've got to make sure your eye thing is the right way up and, and you're about to fire it and you, your, your other arm would be here, yeah? And then you go... Bang, 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 b
World War II bin. They haven't changed much. Right, this is treasureclassifieds.com and I really want you all to go on here and take a look at it, please. It's free to join. It's free to put anything on there. It's free to, you, it's free to list anything. Um, and you can buy and sell anything second-hand to do with metal detecting or treasure hunting in general. You've got uh, all your metal detectors, your coils, your pinpointers, your digging tools, miscellaneous items. You just click on each one and it takes you there. Um, basically, it's a bit like eBay, but it's not an auction. It's just people putting things on there and if you're interested, you send them a message. As you can see, there's quite a few countries involved at the moment. It's a very new site, so there's not many things listed, apart from in America and Canada, which where it is taking off already. I'd love all the other countries to get involved in this. There's no adverts on the site, that's one thing I really like about it. And this guy is not making any money from this. He's, he's just a, another metal detectorist who wants to give something back to the hobby. And it's costing him quite a bit of money to, to run this website, so... Let's all uh, get behind him, and if you've got anything to list, or there's anything you're interested in buying, please do take a look. If you click on miscellaneous here, on the front page, um, and go down a bit, you'll see there my DVDs. So, if anyone's wondering where you can buy my DVDs, that's where I've got them listed now. So, you can go on there, click on each, and scroll down, and it'll tell you the description how much they are and how you can buy them. Basically you just have to ask me for my PayPal address which I'll tell you now it's uh, deepdiggerdan at hotmail.co.uk if you want them just send the PayPal money to there and uh, give me your address and I'll post them out to you. There's also a forum and lots of cool prizes on there so please get involved. So that was me and my friends finding stuff in France I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to show one of these episodes for the next five weeks. Okay. If I have any extra videos, I'll put them midweek. Which I will be putting a children's competition up within the next three weeks, definitely. Um, there might be cooking videos. There might be me metal detecting out with a friend locally. So I will still put midweek videos on. But the France ones are just going to be on Sunday nights. Okay. So catch me next time, next Sunday, for episode two. Thanks for watching, see you later, goodbye. Thank you for watching guys, please click subscribe just over there. If you want to see if I've got a competition going at the moment, click the button over there. I've also put four videos here for you, um, this is the most popular videos. So I'll see you all later, thank you for watching, bye bye.